Now, we both have those times where we'll be talking to somebody and they'll be, God forbid, have our own opinion. They'll get super offended. And next thing you know, they're going off because they're super butthurt and causing an uproar. Well, worry no more. Because by the end of my speech, you'll not only be able to keep yourself cool, but you won't be overly sensitive to other people's opinions and beliefs. I'm going to help you by giving you some information and step-by-step -step instructions. One thing you need to know is that everyone will have different beliefs, opinions, and values than you do. It's happened all throughout history, and these differences have sometimes sparked major wars, murder, and the loss of friends. But how, you ask? Is it true? Well, that's quite simple, and yes, some, each time, was butthurt at someone else's outlook on a certain topic or situation. Take World War II, for example. Hitler did not like being told no to invading Poland, so what did he do? Well, like any normal man would, he went in their guns a-blazing. Talk about overreacting. And I mean, people every day will get so offended by things you say, do, or even your own values and opinions in public. Well, they try to fight and get pissed off and argue with you. But for what? What good does it do them? Well, I'm here to tell you, because you may be asking yourself, how does me, a mere mortal, go about finding inner peace? inner sanctity, and making sure that I no longer become a bitch every time I hear somebody say something that shouldn't really offend me, but does anyway. Well, look no further. Follow these steps, accessed by lifehack.org on April 20th, 2015, and you too can do just what I do. Step one, don't be offended by things you can't change. That's right. You see, you have no control over it. There's no problem getting offended because there's no reason to be upset or worried over something that is beyond your power and that you cannot change. Step two, stop looking for reasons to be offended. I mean, if little Jimmy and Aaron are talking about going to the strip club after school, maybe uh, doing some illegal drugs, and you don't like what you hear, walk away. There's no reason to be part of it, especially not if you're going to be offended and, you know, start a fight or, God forbid, actually lose the fight. <laughs> Whoever does that. So walk away. Step three, give other people a chance to be themselves. I mean, you don't want everybody to be just like you. And everybody is going to have their own values, opinions, and beliefs. They're going to have their own way of life and their own way of thinking. So it's hard to get offended if you realize that people will not be like you. And that obviously most people don't care about what you have to say, regardless of whether or not you're going to say it. And now, for the bonus round, let it go. And I'm not talking about Disney movies, fucking Frozen. No, I mean, when you hear something that offends you, and you're not part of the conversation, you're not part of any of it, you hear it in passing, let it go. If a classmate says something totally asinine, smile, and just tune that motherfucker out. Because there's no point in getting offended and letting one idiot or multiple idiots ruin your mood. So now that I've gotten you a few examples and a few tips on how to not be offended, you can be confident that the next time somebody says something stupid, you won't act like a little bitch. So if they don't believe in God, the Jews, Jesus, or American freedom, remember, they don't care what you believe in. So try not to take it to heart. And remember, have a good fucking day.